Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful tutorial, we're trying to see how the various ways we can productionize our machine learning models. So there are several ways in which you can productionize your models. So we're talking about the four most useful ways, right, that you can use. So first of all, the first method is that after building your models, after serializing and saving your models, you can make it more useful for others by deploying it as a web application, right? By using web applications, you can use, can embed them into Flux or into Pyramid, into Express, into Django, as well as, as many as you want. That is the first method, by using it as a web application. The next option is to use it as an API. So with the API, it's going to be on a broader usage. It's going to act as, a, as an interface to several other devices, such as mobile phones, such as IoT devices, which is also a very nice application of your machine learning model. The third option, which is the most recent, is to use Streamlight. So Streamlight is a machine learning framework that allows you to be able to productionize your machine learning models in a very, very simple and easy way. Then a final method, or the fourth method, is to use your model as a package. So in case you have used a package like Spacey, right, which is a very nice library, just go with Spacey.load, then you supply in EN. So this EN is a pre-trained model, which when you load it, you can use it to do whatever you want to do your, your natural language processing activities so this is another way in which they are using spacey right a model as a package so let's see these particular applications in in print right in actual usage so the first one is to use your machine learning model as a web application so there's a simple web application built in flux so in case i pass in a name here like coffee then i go with predict it's going to give me the prediction and then the prediction was male right perfect so that is the first usage of your model. The first way you can, you can productionize your machine learning model. The next option is to go to it as, use it as an API. So if I come to my API, it shows us how to use it as an API, which is this particular format. So if I come back to my URL, I just go with predict. And as you can see, I've tried it with Mary. Then now it's given us the prediction as, the predicted name is Mary and the prediction as female, right? So that's the third the second method that you can use your machine learning model. Then the next method is to use it with Streamlight. So Streamlight is a very nice package in which you can also use to build machine learning web applications. So in case I enter this name here, which I already have, and it's Cassia, or let's use an, another name like, let's say, Jessica. Right, if I go with predict, it's going to analyze this particular name and give us the right prediction, whether it's a male or female. So that is the third method. So you can either use can embed it inside a web application like Flux, or web framework like Flux, or Django, or any of them, or you can use it as an API, and then you can also use it with Streamlight, which is a very nice package also. So that's given us the prediction as a female. Very, very interesting. Then the fourth method is to use it as a package. So let's see an example. So I'm just going to go back to here, right? If I come back to here, then this is, a package if I go with three now you can see that I have my models there I have my license this is actually like a package right so I've committed my machine learning model into a package which I can use which has already been built that I can deploy and then use for others so let's see it in action so I can just go with my Python I'm going to open my IPython terminal then I'll use it to work perfect so now I can just go with from JC gender classifier import gender classifier so in case you want to learn more about this particular stuff there's a link below in which you can check it out and see all the various ways you can use in actual print okay that is the basic stuff then i can just create a simple variable of let's say gender classifier and i'm passing no argument so if i go with g it's going to tell me how to use it so it takes an argument of name so i can just go with g dot name then i set the name to let's say jess right or let's use something a different name like something different let's say kwame or something very basic right so let's say david so i go with this now if i go with g dot predict can use several formats it's going to give us the right prediction so we made it as david now let's change let's make it something different right david is a very common name so i can just go with something like let's give it jessica right so if i go with g dot predict it's going to give us the prediction as female right that is the basic idea behind this so these are the four different methods that you can use your machine learning model 
So in case you want to learn more, you can also check the links below for some interesting resources to enable you to learn how to productionize your machine learning model. So it gives us an accurate prediction as female. Very, very interesting. So, so the first method is to use it as embedded inside the web application. The next method as an API with Streamlight and then as a package, right? You can also use Docker and then server login. So thank you for watching and then stay blessed. See you in the next session. Stay blessed.